let's go ahead and get into what we are actually here to discuss, which is Martel Holt's lying ass going on Tasha K so that he can speak badly on his ex-wife's image. So he can make her seem like the bad guy. All because he's upset that his ass got arrested. Allegedly because of revenge porn that he put out on her. So we're going to, I think we're going to start 25 minutes in. Okay, now they talked about a few things, but none of which I feel like we actually need to repeat. We're going to just go from 25 minutes in and we're going to take it blow by blow. As bad as my brother has always been, always, okay. you know. I'm like, damn, my mama, she is hard to die for my brother. She, she's never showed favoritism, which I love that about my mom. Yeah. Like my mom, she don't, she don't play. Mm -hmm. And when she loves, she loves, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and again, I just feel like that's how every parent should love their children. And that's like unconditional love when I, like, when I talk about my mom to like me and my brother. Yeah. No matter how good I am. Like no matter, I'm like the, the yeah. star in college playing football and 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 or or making a million dollars. I love him just as much as I love you, son. You know what I'm saying? You're jealous. And you, yes, clock it, Tasha, clock it. He's jealous. Cause nah. he the baby. Nah, no, I, no. Honestly, I love that she loves him so much. You he know what I'm saying? Fuck up, and you like, well, wait a minute, girl. I wonder if I fuck up. Will you love me the same? So <laughs> oh, she will. Cause hey, cause you have fucked up. <laughs> cause you have fucked up. Hey. Cause you have fucked up. And Marlene is still coming to save the day, pissed off and all. So yeah. When I got arrested the other day, my mom told you know the police walked because my kids are in the car. You know what I'm saying? My kids. So you got pulled car. over and they took no, your ass. I, I didn't. Uh -huh. I went up to the jail to get a document from the records department. <laughs> I'm like, hey. I just dropped my. And I wonder what document from the records department you was going to get because it almost makes me wonder if you were going there so that you could try to continue to seek some revenge on Mel, but it turned out getting your ass arrested. Turned up getting your ass arrested, child. That is hilarious. My daughter off at on tennis. <clears throat> And because I just picked him up from school, picking yeah. kids from school, so I dropped my daughter off at tennis. Oh, let me go get, grab this document right quick. So I left the two. I, I then the car, ran in to grab the document. The lady said, "Hold on, Mister Hope, one moment. <laughs> you wait one moment for the damn police officer to come get you." Guys. I said, "He came out and said you got a warrant for your arrest." I said, "No, they can't be right. You must be talking about my brother." I said, "Check again." Not you trying to put it on your brother? Because hey, I didn't know. I mean, because it didn't make sense. I'm like, because I don't do shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but y'all don't look alike. Why would anybody think it was your brother? And then you told everybody it had something to do with your brother because that was one of the stories that came out when we first found out he got arrested. This nigga ain't shit. He said, no. He called. He said, no, it's you. I said, damn, I got my kids in the car, man. He said, um, all right. So he was cool. We walked outside. Yeah. Called my mom. She came up there. My mama mad as hell. Oh, my God. And I'm like, mama, stop. He don't care about that. Yeah. Everything you say, he does not care. You want some more wine? No, nah, hell okay. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's your wine. Not Look, you saying you want to your own wine. Hey, listen, hell, because that 13.5 don't play with nobody, even me. Okay. All right. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's where you need to be. Relax. <laughs> hell no. Yeah, you ain't in defense mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. He said no to his own wine. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Hey, so, real, you sound slow, you going? Yeah, I go slow anyway. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, because I in the first hour, I got to get... So... That's what you think Crystal said, that I believe he really went to turn himself in. He knew it was a warrant out for his arrest. Oh, girl, that's more believable than you went to the courthouse to get a record. That's more believable. But why lie about it? You got out in three hours. Why lie about it? That doesn't even make any sense. The, the key points out. Oh. And then I can just, all right, let me relax. Then you can chill. Yeah, so that's what I typically do. Yeah, so <laughs> your mama's in the parking lot. She's oh, going yeah, on. Yeah, she, she came up there just, I, knew I don't know what she, she just talked to no, she was she was just upset. Okay. Um, because yeah. that, really at that moment, oh, I still didn't know what happened. And Nini's son, Nini's son did the same shit. He went and got arrested and gave the police his little brother's name. Y'all remember that shit? I still didn't know what the, the cause was, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my mom, she came to got the kids and he walked me back. He did that to make, he made, he, he turned himself in with the kids to make Mel look bad. Because it's like, why would you have him arrested in front of your kids? I'm sure there are so many women that probably felt like you traumatizing your kids by getting him arrested when he's with the kids. So I feel like he did that shit intentionally. So that, yeah, it does make sense that he went and turned himself in. So you're lying about that. You went and turned yourself in. And now you're lying saying that you went down to the court. I mean, to the jailhouse to get a record. OK, child, whatever. That must be a lie. But yes, it, that's, that's exactly why he did it, to make Mel look bad. Because he knew that there were going to be so many pick niches on the internet. You know, why would she do that? Inside. I was like, man. I said, like, what, what is it? And I said, I don't think it could be. It's my ex-wife. 
Oh, I said that's the only thing it could be is my ex wife. No, Melody, won't you under the jail? She won't be under the jail. <laughs> she ain't tried about six times. Damn. Now, you know, you got to go through all six oh, incidents. Yeah, Top oh, is a shit. sneaky one. This, this incident right here, you know, everybody want to know what ha happened. Yeah. And I told him I called you. I think I called you right after you had yeah. just left court. Yeah, yeah. Then, so the next day after I got to jail, you called because I had court at 8 30 in the morning. So they let you go on a bond. What was your bond? Um, I don't know because, hold on, what was it? Because the lady, she came up because well, I, I said, Mama, I do not want it. I don't want no bonds person getting me out. And but the lady, she know me because because they about to do a TV show. She, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and I'm helping them do some stuff, you know. And she's like, she called my mom. Mama, hope don't worry about to go get them. I got mad at my mom because I said I didn't want nobody involved. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she came, she came up there and got me. And I stayed in about three hours. Okay. Because they had like a damn shift change or something like that. I was so mad. Yeah. But um. So but anyway, back to the, the police officer. I said, I'm pretty good. This was my um. Uh, this was my wife, my ex-wife. He said, um, she changed her last name. I said, yeah. He said, yeah, she did it. I said, oh, I said, oh damn. What did you do this time? <laughs> Number six, so she done had you arrested for almost arrested five times before. Number six, what what happened? Harassing messages, yes, harassing text yes, messages. It was it was text messages um, from August the twenty seventh, twenty twenty two. Okay. Yeah. So what did you say? In so the text? It, so there was a lot of stuff going on on the internet, and okay. that's when I wasn't like going back and forth with her, you know. So okay. I was like basically pleading, you know what I'm saying? I was mm -hmm. like, it's a long text message I got in my. Phone. You lying? You were going back and forth with her. Phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like like stop all that fucking bullying me and all this kind of stuff, and and I sent her a picture. Um, and, and so I sent her a picture and on the, um, on the, um, document, it says seemingly sexual, seemingly sexual because whatever it was, I marked it out and I deleted it on my phone. Right. So I don't know exactly what picture. So I want to, I want to know what picture it is. So he's lying. He's lying. Him, him, like all of this right here is a lie. All of this right here is a lie. He knows exactly what he sent her because we know what he sent her because it was on the internet. You sent her a screenshot of the sex tape that Arion was supposed to post under under anonymous name pretending to be another guy on Facebook. Because the, the Carson Blue girl said that Arion told her the whole scheme that Martel wanted Arion to lie and pretend to be another man posting a video of Mel sucking his dick. But it was actually a video of Martel getting his dick su sucked, which is very funny because he complained the entire time they were on the show and she was trying to keep the marriage together that the reason why he was cheating on her was because she wasn't sucking his dick enough. But this is the video you decide to put out as revenge porn on her because you're angry about the fact that she's moving on. She doesn't want to get back with you. And now you are ruined to the public and the public doesn't like you. And so you blame her for the reason why the public don't like you instead of realizing that they don't like you because of you. You've done these things. You've done these things, Martel. Everybody was willing to forgive you for being a cheating ass nigga, but you continued to, to wreak havoc. You continued to harass Mel. You continued to send Ariane after her. You continued to lie on Mel and say that Mel cheated on you and Mel slept around on you and she slept with all of these different guys. And then you tried to get custody of her kids away from her by saying that she had all of these babysitters around. And really the only reason you did that in the first place is because you wanted first rights refusal with the children. So she would have to always tell you when and where she was going so that you could get the kids you can know where she is and you can control her and pop up on her like you had been doing you thought you did some shit a few years ago when you recorded her out on a date and then deleted it from your stories you have been harassing her since y'all divorced and we've been watching it on social media. They haven't been covering it on the show because everybody likes to protect Martel's ass on Love and Marriage Huntsville. But in real life, we all know that he's been harassing her on and off over the years since they've broken up. He sent her a screenshot of the sex tape. And now he's sitting here acting as if he doesn't remember. He's lying. Oh. Um, and, and that was it. Does this have anything to do with what Carson Blue said about? No. Oh, sex tape. Yeah, there ain't no sex tape of Ariane sucking your dick. Because we want Ariane. Know. Oh, not Ariane. I'm sorry, Melody. Yeah. That... If there was no sex tape, why Ariane? If you don't know what it is, why were you so shocked? And uh, that's not what it was because you know what it really was. That's your wine, so... by the way. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's a thirteen percent, but thirteen point five. Thirteen point five. So, and it's it's really good. I'm gonna be honest with you because I don't they like. I'm very selective about my she was interviewed. So I appreciate this. So no, it's, so it's, it's no sex tape. Um, so what? So no, nobody got a sex tape. Of hey, your nobody wife seen no sex tape of Melody giving doing you head. No, and you claim no. the reason for some of y'all issues in y'all marriage is because she wouldn't give you head. Yeah, no. So wouldn't. to have a video like that, that's kind of gold. Yeah, but no. proof of life. <laughs> no, so. You know, because I know Ariane had mentioned too um, about her knowing something. No, she had went into my phone and saw and saw that picture, and that's why I, 
I deleted it at that time. You know, but so Arianne it wasn't got, it wasn't no video. Does Arion have that picture? Did she take no, no, okay. no, she ain't. Ariane, she I know she, so now, even though he is trying to push Ariane to the front as the one he loves, even though he still hasn't married her, he's now going to throw her under the bus and say that she just found it in his phone. And that's where that came from. That doesn't even make any sense. Why would we ever hear about Ariane finding a picture in your phone if you deleted it back then? Why would you then have had it to send to mail later on? That doesn't make any sense, Martel. So Carson, I don't know. Yeah, she said because apparently I don't want to talk about no strippers. I don't want to talk about her because she because she she was very disrespectful. Um, yeah. but yeah, no, it ain't, it ain't no take. Okay, it ain't no All take. Right. So was it a text message? I guess of you maybe. What did you say in the text message? Like what was? You want to read it? Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Let me determine. Hey, you, you know that. So was she trying to get you on revenge porn or something? What? No, you know what? Oh, you got a lawyer that's handling all this. Yeah, are, you, but, are you doing pro bono? This is the text message. Okay. Yeah. So August 27th, 2022. Yep. And, and, okay. that, and that's when now, I said that Let me start with the first one. It says, good morning, Melody. What's the kid's primary No, position? that wasn't the same day though. I know. Oh. No, it was. Yes, it was. It August 27th, 2022 okay. at 1020 AM. You said, good morning, Melody. What's the kid's primary physician name, pho name and phone number? She didn't reply. And then later that night, <laughs> August 27th, 2022, leave me the fuck alone. Stop speaking on me or anything about me. You're bullying me. You say one more thing about me at all. I'm going to treat you like you treat me. I will go all the way in. It will ruin me. But you and your fans already trying. Now, please don't call my bluff because at this point, I'm tired of you. Okay. And then she says, I pay attention to promises, not threats. And then you go, okay, well, you and your people leave me alone. And then she, you go, hey, hey, I hope all is well. Two days later, I received medicine for Balani. What's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> all about the kids. I love the kids. I don't give a damn about what we going through. The kids. Okay. You're lying. You're also, <laughs> you're deleting text messages. But okay. So what you don't know your charges or anything right now? Just yeah, harassing? Yeah, yeah, it's communication harassment. So it but says, it says order on you or something? A restraining order. Yeah, because I'm like, that's the only reason they would be no. able to arrest you. Like, why would they? No. They order. So what was grounds for harassment for arresting it, it, you though? It says, oh, we go see because it says domestic violence, communication, harassment. So, but you'll see some outlets were saying, like on the shade room, um, TMZ, and and I messaged it myself. I said, Y'all slandering my name by saying domestic violence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And not saying domestic violence. Communication press because it's all one thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was nigga, domestic violence is domestic violence. I don't know why y'all always want to mince hairs about abuse because y'all think if somebody gets hit, that's so much worse than constant mental and emotional abuse over an extended period of time. Like, no, it's bad. It's bad either way. It's bad that you're still fucking with this lady after all of this time. The text message, August the 27th, 2022. And she waited 11 months, July of 2023, to go file or press charges. August, I mean, um, July um, 2023. So I had a, a warrant ever since then. And we've been, we in, she ain't came to sit beside me, we ain't talk, we ain't film. And, you know, we've been at my, my daughter's tennis games, practice. I think it was smart for her to pretend as if everything was okay in front of you. And then to do like you do and go behind your back and file the charges on you whenever she got good and ready. I didn't need her to have done it as soon as it happened. I needed for it to just be loaded in the chamber. And if you didn't stop fucking with her, for her to then use that against you because you went to such, such, I feel like hellish levels to make her look bad because you're upset that all of your actions are finally catching up to you. And that's how you can tell that he really does have these narcissistic tendencies. Everybody likes to act like we overuse that word. But what I hear primarily about narcissists is how much they cannot stand when people see them for who they truly are. And they will go to the ends of the earth, cutting off their own nose to spite their face in order to make the person who is the object of their narcissism look bad to the world. Um, <clears throat> this last month, I think she had went, she had went, um, she tried to go live. Mm -hmm. She tried to go live and act as if she ain't know, but she's sitting right here beside me, you know, talking. And the next thing you know, she had a warm for my wrist ever since you left. She probably had that one in the bay. I hate that some you want to, I'm going to call these crackers on you right, <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm you. Hey, but, but I'll be real. Should, if that's all you got me is a motherfucking text message, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I mean, I ain't gonna so lie. Let's I, I'll take you it. You never put hands on her. No. I, no. Never. I never. I never pushed put her. Hand. Slapped her, pulled her hair, held her down. None of that. I mean, if anything, you know, with, with her hitting me, if anything, me trying to probably grab her arms, like, yeah. stop, you know? Now, I, I do want to say this. I'm going to be fair across <clears throat> the board because yeah. I don't feel that anybody should be putting their fucking hands on nobody, yeah. right? Man or woman, yeah. And I have seen videos. Um, You've explained the context of those videos. And it, it appears to be Melody in the video you know, don't, with it, a baseball more, bat. <laughs> yeah. Baseball uh, slapping bat. you, pushing you. Yeah. And these are all, this is not like, oh, I'm just, like, we're going to put, we're going to insert the videos here, okay? Yeah.
know, it could be like seen as like taunting, but like, here's the thing. You can taunt somebody. It's kind of like, you know how our siblings used to do us back in the day and they put their finger, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> yeah. That still don't give me the right to strike. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What one should do is walk away. Walk away. Yeah. Right. So, but for her to even strike you or come at you with a baseball bat or. I'm going to get that for y'all because I thought they were going to play it. So I'm going to pull that up before we continue on so that we can see that for ourselves here. Um, and I'm going to also say that, you know, we, we can act, we can act like he was not taunting her and recording her intentionally so that he could get her on camera being angry with him and trying to hit him. That was intentional. He wanted to make her look bad, but he took, I believe, $17,000 out of her account. He had also uh, uh, taken a lot of things from her, hid her clothes, furniture, all kind of stuff so that she could not move into her new home when she was ready to. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not feeling sorry for Martel. How do you cheat on somebody, have a baby on them? And then he lies and says that they were on a break when he had the baby with Arianne. Child, all I know is Arianne and, and Melody have been pregnant at the same time more than once. More than once. And when she found out that Arianne was pregnant, that was after the pandemic, after she already had you guys' baby. So that's bullshit. Y'all, y'all were together. Y'all were absolutely together during the pandemic because Mel had just had her baby. She had just had sugar mama. And then you turned around. I thought I had it saved, y'all, the video. You turned around and got Ariane's ass pregnant. And she was already going to divorce you because she figured out that you weren't going to ever stop cheating. You were just trying to find out ways to cheat better. So she was going to divorce you regardless of the fact that you had gotten Ariane pregnant. But to say that that happened while y'all were on a break, that is not true. The baby was born around Christmas time and Mel had filed for divorce by like March or April. Like around that time. So yeah, uh-uh. That, 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 that's not going to fly. Because for most of Mel's pregnancy, y'all were together. He's full of shit. He said that at the beginning of this live. Y'all, I'm still trying to find this clip. But y'all know I have to, I have to uh, siphon through the 50-11. The 50 11 Nicki Minaj, Megan Thee Stallion comments and post. All right. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Oh, now I got it, man. Why are you acting like that? Quit recording me. Like, don't be recording me like you're going to put me out on the walls or some shit. Right. Don't fucking record me. Don't stop. So record this, okay? Did you never do oh, this? You're going to tell my... No, 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 Man, don't, don't, don't do this. I can't stand a nigga that's begging and pleading for you to stop responding to his abuse while recording you trying to make himself out to sound like a motherfucking victim when you stole money out that lady account. Yeah. Today I'm going to no, don't, 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 Oh, Somebody said it was lighter fluid. That's not lighter fluid. That's alcohol rub. It's still flammable, but that's alcohol rub. Now, I'm not playing with you about my money. I'm playing with you about my money. Stop smoking. Stop smoking. Stop smoking. Stop smoking. Stop smoking. So, yeah, this was the video that was put out. And uh, her manager said, Tuh, as Mel's manager, I'm going to say this. Don't think for one minute that we don't have receipts galore, which could have ruined her ex a long time ago. But that's never what she has been on. This incident was the aftermath of taking every penny of her hard earned money. This isn't even half the story, though. Shaking my head. Stay tuned. So that's what um, that's what her manager Dawn said. OK, so.
So let's go back to the interview where he continues to lie. You know, it just, I don't know. So and then, I'm, I'm and then we have clips of her saying, you know, that of course she denied that you ever touched her or ever put hands on her. Mm -hmm. Was Martell ever physically abusive? No. I mean, me and Martell, I will say this, Martell and I um, had our moments like some people him. probably do, but I'm not one of those women who ever going to just be, I'm, you know, um, I personally am yeah, not one did. of those women who, uh, I'm kind of strong in the sense of, I'm not one who would be, sit around and be abused physically. And yeah. like you the type, and I'm a Scorpio too, you probably would be doing be abusing. Like you look like you would slap the shit out of somebody. I'm just saying. I'm just speaking Thank you for that. Thank you for saying that. that. Well, that. Say it. And then for her to say, you know, I would be the one beating ass. And then I see the videos of her, you know. Be my ass. I mean, <laughs> she little though, but like. I, no, she's not little. She's not little. No, she's not little. Melody's like, what, she five, seven, five, eight. She looks little. so little. Yeah. I thought, you know, because her and Ariane, like, are. I know Ariane's short. It didn't look like lighter fluid to me is what I'm saying. It looked like alcohol rub, which is still flammable. But either way, I don't care. <laughs> like, I understand the anger level. Yeah, it was like five, three, five. Yeah, three. but as far as their, their, I guess their body frame, very petite or no, whatever. No, she wasn't so, beating yeah. his ass. She wasn't even really trying time. to fight him. I do? You do. Okay, well, You're beautiful. Both, yeah, they're both beautiful. Both of them are very, very I, beautiful. I ain't saying nothing about Melody, okay? Ariane, she's a very beautiful girl. She don't do that. Now, see, listen. <laughs> now, no, I'm just saying. Okay. Not, like, let's, I don't want to say start. nothing. Okay, so you and Melody, y'all met in college. <laughs> we did, Okay. Yeah. What was your, be honest, forget about all the shit that y'all been through. I'm not have, forgetting nothing that we've been through. Do you four, not understand? Y'all have four beautiful fucking children together. Y'all yeah. have made a lot of fucking money together. Yeah. Okay. Y'all got the whole United States, I'm sure, overseas watching y'all. Y'all have built a lot. Now, is it favorable? No, but at the same time, you're able to provide for your damn kids. 100%, you know? So 100%. people are watching what most marriages go through, but just on television. It, man, listen, this is an, ex an extended version. <laughs> yeah, because you want Blu-ray. Yeah, we went through the dude, the, 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 the three years ago, but not the extended version. Shit, yeah. two more years later. I mean, yeah. but who else, honestly, will we watch on that show? Be honest. Um, the Scots, are, they're very interesting. A lot of entertainment. You think they can take the lead? <clears throat> they, they've done it, I think. Um, you know, certain mm. storylines, mm. even, even if it's made up, yeah, they still taking it. No, oh, they got made up. Even something? if it's made up. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> are you though? Are you though? <laughs> now nah, he's feeling, he's feeling. No, but what was it that I should say? Because nah, I mean, you really, I mean, for y'all to, to build as much as y'all built, you know, y'all yeah. had a family business. Yeah. You know, she had the, the, the contractor's license you would build. Yeah. Sort of like how me and my husband do it. Like he, you know, has a production. I talk. There we it's, go. It's, yeah, you it's know, a team. It's a teamwork. Yeah, team you know? Y'all built that together. Right. Regardless of like what the breakdown was, <clears throat> what was it about Melody that you was attracted to? <laughs> Come on now, Marcel. You got it. No. No, man. Yes, you do. No. Uh, -uh. I'm, I'm, I'm being real. I'm being 100% so, okay. real because, you know, this is what the show does. Love Mary Chunsville. You know, it's, you know, me and other cast members, <clears throat> it's almost like, you know, the producers want us to do certain things to make Melody look good. I'm not, I'm, I'm not asking. I'm not no, asking. No, 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 no. For, 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 for that question right there, yeah. this is going to make her look good. I don't want to talk any positivity about Melody right now on your couch. But I was, I mean, it's vice versa. You don't want like, to talk she any positivity you have to ask about that. Um, you have to ask her that. I mean, have, did you ask her that? Have you ever interviewed her? I, in, I interviewed her and I had to do two because the first one she played me. <laughs> she came on trying to, you know, promote a single and I was just like, you can't sing. Oh. And I told her she could, but I was like, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the second one, she loosened up. She was scared of me. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm a woman just like you, I'm a wife. You know, when they yeah. see that, they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, the internet makes you look. I'm like, fuck the internet. Yeah. You know, right, right. but that's um, why people scared of you, bitch. But there had to be something <laughs> that connected y'all too. Like, yeah. Because y'all built a lot <laughs> together. Like, what, what? I'm not asking for Melly, but I'm asking for at the time, when y'all first met, like, what was it? Was it just at that stage in your life? Not right now, but at that stage. What was it? You know, whatever it was, God did it, you know? It wasn't anything particular um, about her, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't anything particular about me. Um, I'll be really, it's, it's just certain things I prayed for, and, you know, God gave it to me, exactly what I prayed for. You, so you so prayed that's a good for thing. her? I mean, yeah, it was, it was a good thing. You prayed for so me. I, I won't go into any, like, um, specifics, but that's just what it was. He told me to be still. <clears throat> God told me to be still through a comedian. I don't know if that was um, Chris Rock at the time. He was mm -hmm. doing some type of stand up, and he had, there was some stuff mentioned, like about being still. Mm -hmm. You know, when you um, going through things in life, just just be still. So like, you were looking I was for obedient. Body. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna say I was, I was looking for anybody. It, it, it happened, you know. How you gonna it, say it you happened. wasn't so looking for somebody? The interaction between you and Melody was a very natural reaction. It wasn't like, yeah. oh, I saw her in the club. Oh, she fine. I'm about to bag her. Yeah, no, like no, because it wasn't fine. You know what I'm saying? It will. I, I don't. <clears throat> you know, it wasn't fine. My nigga, so you mean to tell me you was with a woman for all of those years, had all those babies with her, and you wasn't thinking she was fine? The cap. When you're looking for a wife, you're not looking Capery. at how fine she is. Cap if you're looking at a so woman, hard. how fine she is, you're looking at something else. That's lust, and you want to just probably have sex or something like that. Um, 
So no, it was. What else I was trying to clarify? Like, it was what deeper was than I'm not that. going there though. You don't want to tell us what it was. I, I it was tell you, but yeah. I told you. I said, Martel, okay. you are okay. You've been put you, out Martell. as a villain for so long. I'm not trying to ask you to make Melody look good. What yeah. this does is this humanizes you. Yeah, yeah. This ain't about you kissing her ass. This ain't about you. I, her I, her. I, I, I this is that. about humanizing you as a man, letting people see that vulnerable side <clears throat> that made her stay all those years, even past. Your sins. You, you, you can't call on the phone and ask her what made her say um, those years that she made a song um, that song about a game five years to cut, cut her off or whatever. You, you didn't ask her that. No one asked her that. Why did you stay those additional years I did beyond just the kids? It wasn't the kids. Like what? It, what was it that made you stay with Martha? What was it? You so know? you're a spiritual person. <clears throat> all those years. That's what it, it's the kids in all those years. That's what it was. And we all know at some point she loved you because she forgave you after you cheated on her multiple times. She forgave you the first time before we met y'all. And then she forgave you again when y'all were on the show. Even was taking care of your ass when you had surgery. And your ass was sneaking on the phone on a goddamn floor to talk to Ariane. Somewhat, somewhat. You go to church? You know what? I haven't been to church in a minute. You know, many kids would watch, um, watch it on TV now. Well, we did. We went to church last month. We did. Yeah. Okay. I, I grew up in the church, though. Okay. Yeah. What'd you do? Play drums or something? <laughs> you know what? I, I wish. No. Nah, okay. I'm not no. musically inclined. Like, Marta, I, I tell, get it. Like, the show kind of <clears throat> idolizes her and villainizes you. Got to, But right? this ain't the show right now. Right. This is us enjoying your wine, getting to know Martel. Yeah. And what... And who you are. That's it. Like, we just want to see, like, your heart. Yeah. Because they don't show you as a man with a heart. They show you as a man they show. that's emotional. They show. And you think, you think what you did. Yeah. But you're saying that's that's not how you view Melody when you met her. You didn't, it wasn't lust. It was Tasha. Yeah, of course not. It's trying. <clears throat> trying She's, to make okay, let's just good. say she exuberated a lot of things that allowed you guys to build what you have now, even though there's a major breakdown. I don't believe you hate her. I believe you're irritated right now. No, yeah, no, I, I don't I don't hate her, but it's, it's it's just the fact that she's taking me through some of the most trying times in my life and it's and it's she for fucking TV, you. it's for a storyline, it's for to get the kids back on TV and the film and all this stupid shit, you know, that we've been in court for. Like we're going to we got First of all, you can shoot with the kids on the show, but you don't want her to be able to shoot with the kids on the show. It was just a way to control her in some manner. To stop her from doing whatever she wanted to do in some manner. That's all this has been about. And let's not forget, y'all had a custody agreement and you took her to court first, trying to take full custody of the kids. That was you, Martel. You started that. Mel did not start that. That was you. And now you mad because you lost? Court the 30th of this month. You know what, what I'm saying? For parental court? What? Um, yeah, you know, because she wants the kids back on TV. She wants the kids back on, um, on, on social media. You, you don't know? want them? I don't want them all. I had them taken off. See, that's what we need to talk about, Martel. I, I'm down to talk about that, but I don't want to talk about what made me fall for her. And No, what nothing. was it that, not fall for her, but like that moment, like, okay, this is a woman that I can build with. This is what I thought at the time. You, you know, it, Where it, you it, were in your life. It's, it's, not, it's not at one moment in life, one day I'm like looking at this woman because we just wanted to date, like, mm -hmm. oh, this is a woman I can do X. So, no, it, when I say it happened organically, it's like, no, we, I used to invite her on dates. We mm -hmm. used to go on dates, go to the movies. It's like it was inseparable. It's like we used to just do everything, certain things every single day. You know, we, mm -hmm. we built that bond rather quickly, you know? So um, how soon did you guys get married after you, you met? So I think we met like in, uh, what, that's January, what I really, February? That's what I really And mean. I proposed to her on her graduation date, Other kids which was on um, social media. This, December, I think, I think. That was fast. Yeah, very fast. And, and then, then, we got, then we got married the following July. So the, the, the following year, year, July. A year? Yeah. That was fast. It was, it was very fast. Okay, you guys were so, old. So, um, not like 27, something like that, 25, okay. 26, some, somewhere around there. Yeah. Fairly young couple, got yeah. a lot of aspirations. You're both teachers. Yep. Okay, like yeah. now we get in somewhere, like fuck the TV shit. One hundred percent. You see what I'm saying? Like when you told me you used to teach special <laughs> education, I'm like, what? Yeah. You in a classroom with kids, so you naturally love understand. children. Naturally love. But children. you being painted out here on television as what? Oh, he loves kids. You know, as somebody that abuses kids, I guess I don't know. Oh, but if you don't you, talk about these things, Martin. There's no it. way for us yeah. to know. You said it. Nobody else said it, but you pointing out the fact that she's accused you of abusing your son. Oh, 100%. you see what I'm saying? And I right. know you try to protect. And the judge asked you to go and get some some help. Go and get some counseling, and you didn't do it. Mm -hmm. like certain parts of your life, but you got a lot of people around you that's not protecting that. Yeah, it's the sacred. Yeah. So now your children. <laughs> you you said that you know she tried to have you arrested six times. What about the other five times? What happened with them? She accused me of um like abusing my son. Oh wow. Yeah. So this one one particular one particular scene that I did. I think I think this was twenty twenty two. I think this was twenty twenty two as well, or twenty twenty one going to twenty twenty two. I filmed a scene with my uh, with my attorney, mm -hmm. and the scene was about Melody. 
having 20 some babysitters. You know, I say that people be like, that's not true. She had like 20 some babysitters, but 11 of them. Is it 20 or 11? Babysat overnight. Oh. And I, that's still like, what the fuck? I don't even hang around 11. That's not true. That's not true. I'm going to say it again, y'all. That's not true. This originated because he didn't want her brother, who's gay, babysitting their kids. He was actually insinuating that the brother would do something to their kids because he's gay. That's how this started. And then it went into 20-something babysitters. It's been rolling on and on and on, picking up more lies and bullshit as time has went on. But this originated with him wanting to be able to make it hard for her to get people to help her with the kids. So she would have to rely on him, meaning he would be able to get in contact with her, know where she is, know what she's doing. Like if she was going out on a date, he would get first rights refusal, which means that he would be able to know where she is and what she's doing. That was the whole point of this from the beginning. The people, let's know and babysit my children. Somebody that I love, oh, that hurt me. To this day, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So that was like since we like separated or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So I had that, had that um, meet with my attorney that day. But next thing you know, it seemed like somebody told Melody that I had that scene. I'm, but I'm not going to point no fingers. I about know okay. who it is. Um, I called her out on that. <clears throat> um, so from that scene, next thing you know, I spanked our son. And she said that I hit him 25 times. So you, wait who, a minute. Who I'm sorry. Wait a minute. That hurt me. To this day, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So that was like since we like separated or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the scene was about Melody having 20 some babysitters. You know, I say that people be like, 20 something. That's not true. She had like 20 some babysitters, but 11 of them babysat overnight. Oh. And I, that's still like, what the fuck? I don't even hang around 11 people. Let's know and babysit my children. Somebody that I love. Oh, that hurt me. To this day, I'm. You are so full of shit right now. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. So that was like since we like separated or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So I had that, I had that, um, meet with my attorney that day. But next thing you know, it seemed like somebody told Melody that I had that scene. I'm not, but I'm not going to point no fingers. I about know okay. who it is. People, let's know and babysit my children. I need somebody to that I love. Oh, that hurt me. To this day, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So that was like since we like separated or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So I had that, I had that, um, meet with my attorney that day. But next thing you know, it seemed like somebody told Melody that I had that scene. I'm not, but I'm not going to point no fingers. I about know okay. who it is. Um, I called her out on that. <clears throat> um, so from that scene, next thing you know, I spanked our son. And she said that I hit him 25 times. What did you spank your son for? And who told on you? I don't like the way you put that together because it almost seemed like your son was the one that told her something you didn't want him to tell her. I don't know what's going on, y'all. That's not, it's not like he said some woman told Mel. Might have been Destiny, who knows. But either way. Did you, who, who was counting? No, so so my thing was, what they kept on acting up. I, saw, I said, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give you 25 licks. You know, just, just saying that. I'm going to give you 25 licks, keep on. I'm going to do it again, I'm going to give you 25 licks. I ain't playing with you. Something like that. And y'all stop. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And um, so I probably, I probably spanked my son. The last one hurt him. Just know he laughed and the last one, he changed his face. You know what I'm saying? I was like, so I guess because Melody, when they come back to Melody, Melody questioned the kids like, how was y'all's day? You know, the kids tell me, you know, how, mm -hmm. how, how was y'all day? Um, anybody get in trouble? You know, and they start picking them apart. Melody, she's good at that manipulation type stuff. But anyway, so the, uh, probably one. Probably right. Because it's manipulation to ask your children what happened when they were with their unhinged, crazy ass daddy and his baby mama that don't like they mama for the week. Like, I'm going to ask my kids how everything went, if they're okay. Did anything happen they want to tell me about? Because I know this nigga is unhinged. I know this nigga is not in control of his emotions. Probably Tank probably said, um, daddy gave me 25 licks, but if I give some, if somebody hits you 25 times, you're going to have a whip on you. You're going to have some on you. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And instead of her calling me, talking to me about it, she gets her turn. She's about to, like press charges on me or something like that. Well, it was more with the, with the courts, though. So you found out about the babysitters and went to court on her and mad somebody told her. Her son says that you hit him a whole bunch of times. And so she did the same thing. She went to her, her attorneys and went to the courts and didn't say nothing to you. So she moving how you moving and now she's wrong and you're not. OK, got it. And so it was like a little COVID stuff going on. So the, the courts were backed up. Got it. So they took the kids from me. They took the kids from me, you know? Melody didn't call me or nothing. That was the most embarrassing moment <clears throat> in my life, you know? Most embarrassing moment in my life. Me going to the school to eat, because I, I go to school to eat lunch with my children, mm -hmm. you know? So this day, I, I text Melody. I got a text message. I text her. I'm like, um, the kids didn't go to school to, today, something like that. Um, 
because I think I called to go eat lunch or something like mm -hmm. that. And then like I think like the I know at one point he couldn't see the kids for like 70 days or something like that at some point. And a judge asked for him to go into, you know, some type of counseling and he didn't do it. Because that went up there. So and the you security did man something. Like you can't be on school property. I said, what, what, what you mean? What's going on? You know? He says you just can't be on you school. You have property. a degree in education. He caused his son to bleed. Okay. Got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. You can't be on school property. Right, right. But and, spanking your own son. Oh my God. I believe in ass whoopers. Oh my God. He's I, a boy. I, I do. He's like, I believe in fathers being present, and if you have to spank your son, that's different if you're abusing him, punching him, putting his head through the wall, but spanking him. And I listen, all these accusations that Melody has said about me hitting my child, my son. And if you did hit him, so fucking what? That's Thank your baby, you. Thank right? Thank you. Like, and, I, and I think that, you know, you, you, you love when you spank him. Because you, because you, if, if I tell you don't. Ain't finna explain, if I want to <laughs> spank my kids. Because some wrong thing. I want to abuse my children, I will abuse my children. Okay. Okay, I have every right to abuse my children if I want to abuse my children. And y'all know I think that Tasha don't hit her kids, right? Between me and them crackers, if they, if they decide to get involved. So, like, let's... So, so immediately, so immediately, because of what she said, okay. not because it was true, because Melody, you know, accused me of it. The judge took the oh, kids away immediately. Days, you know, because we couldn't go to court because, again, it was backed up. And my gosh. I How think long that, were your kids away from 56 you? days. Mm, there we go. You didn't see your children. From the... Oh, and you're used to being oh, with your children all the time. All the time. Oh, he was so When hurt. she don't want to be there, I'm there. When she got to go somewhere, I'm there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you have your kids back now. Oh, oh you yeah. You guys are doing seven days on, seven days. Like, she has yeah. them seven days, you have them seven days. Yeah, so, 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 so we went to court, no, you know, no she had to drop it because it wasn't true. You know, what kind of evidence you got, you know? Because I ain't like, that's stuff's here. 56 days. My kids came back to me bad as fuck. Bad as fuck. You know? <laughs> because it's like, you know, I have structure. I have real structure at the house, you know? Yeah. Um, at least I used to run the house like a... Oh, you have real structure, but you haven't passed that builder's license. You haven't actually been consistent in any of your businesses. Your structure isn't shown anywhere in your life. Yet Mel has been able to amass a huge amount of wealth over a short amount of time by herself from various businesses that she's started on her own. She sounds way more disciplined and on top of everything than you are. <laughs> like a military person or something like that, but it's just like you know, kids gotta. They, 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 yeah. they, they gotta have that, you know. Really they they have to. So, into talk. Yeah, that, that was the most embarrassing thing for me going to school and the security. But I, them, that I, was I go to school and eat with them all the time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And just for her just to come out and just say that I can't be up there, that was that was real tough. Okay, so second time she tried to have you arrested, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> girl, it was all dealing with abuse. All of them abuse. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you got like. So hold on. So it might not be six. Might be this. Might be the fifth. Okay. Yeah. We so any court. of the charges stick? <laughs> no. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. 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 Nothing's ever stuck. No. We go okay. to court. You know, things really been aligning for me. I think it hasn't stuck because Huntsville is a misogynistic place, and I think the judges and the people who are in charge love to try to make it seem like Mel is some bitter baby mama that's just not making it easy for the downtrodden black man to be there for his child. But that's not what's happening at all. He's abusive, and in a lot of cases, y'all don't take the abuse of the mother into consideration. Y'all don't give a fuck about the fact that he's stalking her or harassing her or calling her over and over again about things that have nothing to do with the kids y'all don't care about that so i i honestly feel like the courts moving in his favor really doesn't mean shit you can't afford to take care of all them kids by yourself and that's how we know you'll you'll cut your own nose off to spite your face ain't had no real money running through your hands since you left melanie melody the fuck you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and it's like now the judge is really going to see that the reason melody's doing this is for tv She's she's gonna she's gonna see this, especially when we go back to court on the thirtieth. How is she doing this for TV when most of this shit has not been on TV? Most of this stuff has not been on TV. This arrest was the first time Martel has actually had to film the shit that's been going on. Before then, all of this other stuff he's talking about, the court case, all of that, none of that was on the show. Uh, Let's talk about the doing so it for TV. How did the show concept come about with you and Melly? Was y'all y'all was still <clears> school <throat> teachers at the time? Um, no, we were entrepreneurs at the time. Okay. Um, so we, were, we were doing property preservation. We were building houses and stuff like that. But at the time, in the beginning, so my friend, her, na her name is uh, Denisha um, okay. Childress. She's still my friend to this day. Okay. Um, you know, <clears throat> I was saying to Melanie, you know, one of the little show. And she said, um, I know this guy named Carlos. Because one of her friends, I think, did um, like a little interview with him or something like that. And so she um, gave us a little, little website, whatever. And we emailed, paid to look for $400 for a consultation here in Atlanta. So um, came out here, we met Carlos. Like This one, he's on Housewives, though. 
He said, y'all want to go to Housewives? I was like, hell no, I still want to keep my wife. Because I think it's when everybody getting divorced everybody. and going through and everything. they don't pay the husbands. Yeah, yeah. On to this day. They still don't pay the husbands. I was like, how is a real husband? And I told Carlos, I said, no, I want to keep my wife. You know, mm-hmm. so we passed it up. Um, so but I think probably fast forward like two years later, we did like a sizzle. And um, we reached back out to Carlos. And um, he said he loved it. He said, um, give him a year to pitch it. I was like, cool. <clears throat> and I think he called us back about a month later. Um, he said, I can do an ensemble quicker, though. Mm. He's like, I do an ensemble quicker. And um, I'm like, what is an ensemble? They told us what ensemble was. And I talked to Melody. She was like, Shh. I'm like, cool, let's do it. You know? And so we got, he has to, we have friends and stuff like that. Like, yo, we got, we got friends. We got the Scots. There was a couple other people in the property preservation that, you know, we um, sent to him as well. And um, next thing you know, he came back quick. Said, own. Because I told him, like, so the concept that we had, it was a little different from what it is now. Because okay. we really wanted, like, the more the HGTV type thing. I was you know say, what I'm saying? That's what it seemed like y'all was supposed to be doing. <sighs> The before and after houses. To this day. You, to, wish, you wish you had done that? You know, it's not even a laughing matter, Tasha. It's not even a laughing matter. So it's like to say y'all marriage would still be together if you was like, if we didn't get on this, after. If we did not get on this motherfucking ensemble show, yeah, things would have been totally different, you know? Because again, you know. That we, says a lot. Man, what? Because that, that was my thing. I told Carlos. I said, I want, I want. I'm telling you, ever since the judge told Melody that she, you know, she was the one making it difficult, I was just like, oh, she must want to fuck him. Shoot a picture to um, HGTV okay. first, and then I said, own. Oh. But then, you know, he came back with the ensemble, and it kind of, like, threw me a little bit, you know, because I didn't really understand it all. You know no, what I'm saying? He wanted to do a Real Housewives of Atlanta, but Huntsville with a different name. No, good hmm. way of Melody and I was, we would have killed HGTV, too. We would have killed just I think y'all you know would have, too. Oh, we I can still see y'all doing that, even still to this day. Yeah, so, so yeah, we, man, we, had, we got all that footage. It was good, though. We, we, we would have killed that. That would have been nice if you get some of the footage so I could put it in here. You have some of that footage? The HGTV? <laughs> I, I do, but I'm not. <laughs> No happy moments <laughs> dealing with Melody. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Bitch, send me to jail. Hell no. Now, Melody, you see, I'm trying. You know, I know you, you think I'm biased because I ended up, I'm like, listen, you sat with me. Ariel sat with me. He said, I, I interviewed everybody. The Scott's can sit with me. Anybody can sit with me. Like, yeah. that's just, you know, everybody has a right to tell their story. 100%. Right. I, so I it's totally not agree. And, and, and that's one thing where I think I, I love on, mm-hmm. but I think that's where, like, you know, Carlos own, they're not, they, they didn't do Ariel right. And she probably didn't say it a million times, but I'm gonna say it too, because I, I I stick I stick beside on that. They, they're not doing it right. We ain't discussed that girl since day one, and they won't. They didn't want us to discuss her since day one, even on this past um reunion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Talking about it still. We we talking about it still. You're still fucking with her. You still have another family with her. She's still doing shit like talking to Carson Blue about the tape that you wanted her to put out. Things are still happening. That's why she's still a topic of conversation because you keep using her against Melody. That's why. Because of you. And I don't really think you want Ariana on the show. I don't think you really want Ariana on the show. Because everybody will see how down bad you really went. Why is it if you really cared about Ariane Love, Ariane, she's so great. Why haven't you married her yet? Why did you go and get Sheree first? Why, why all of that? Instead of making her your wife, making it harder for the show to keep her off. You didn't do anything to solidify Ariane in your life and make it seem as if she really matters to you. You've just been using her the same way you was using her for her mouth when you and Mel were married. Y'all don't want to put her on the show? Didn't she film at one time and then I guess they trashed oh, the footage? Oh, so, 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 I ain't calling her names. She was promised that she was going to be on the show. So, she made, a, she made a sacrifice. But, I said, let's just put your voice on there. And, because we don't want to give them too much. Even though they paid pretty good. The, just why they little, put a voice bit, on there mm-hmm. again? You know? Um, let's just put your voice on there and um, we'll, this will be the beginning. You know, I think mm-hmm. this is probably like three seasons ago. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but yeah, fail promise. And we're still talking about it to this day. Were there ever any conversations between you and me? Like, what was your marriage like before? Like, when- And he has barely filmed with her, y'all. He's barely been photoed with her. She always got to be, you know, getting it while they out somewhere. And that's been recent. So he did not want everybody to know that they were together. So the, the fact that he's trying to act like this whole time, he's been trying to get her on the show and Owen just didn't want to do it. Yeah, I don't believe that. Y'all started pitching the show. Like, what was y'all, what was the status of y'all marriage? Was it great? Like, what? Because people, there's this kind of, there's these conversations going around on social media that y'all kind of planned the breakdown of y'all marriage for the show. Like, we Ariane bro- was already in the picture. You were already cheating. You were, y'all were pitching and y'all basically, y'all put it together so that you would have content to break down the marriage of the show. Because nobody wants a perfect marriage. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why anybody would think that, but that's not what happened, y'all. I promise y'all, I don't think that's how it happened. I think Mel wanted to out him on the show. 
I do. I think Mel knew, found out that he was still cheating when they started filming the show. And I think she intentionally outed him on the show and used it to her benefit. And I feel like I don't know how you can wrong me and get mad when I use it to my benefit that you wronged me. I don't give a fuck. I don't care about her using her pain to get paid. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't care about that. I don't. I don't think that makes Mel a bad person. I don't think that makes Mel phony because Mel used this situation to help her be able to get out of y'all marriage and stand on her own two feet. But which one is it? Because if it was all so that she could eventually leave him and move on like Maya and all of that, if that was the case, if it was all a setup, why did she get pregnant by him again? Why did she get back with him? Why did she do that? And then abruptly leave him after having a baby. Like, that's just cap to me. If anybody's been here the entire time, y'all will see the progression of events and how these things took place. Mel was not really trying to leave Martel at first, and nobody thought she would. When Mel finally did file for divorce and left his ass after having Sugar Mama, everybody was shocked. Because they thought that she was going to stay with him for longer. You say, you say, when you say break down, you mean in like the demise of our... Yeah. Oh, fuck that. No. Hell no. Who so wanna... Arianne wasn't in the picture at the time. Um, yeah, yeah, she, she was. was. Yeah, she okay. was. Yeah. So y'all were having problems. I don't think that Mel would have got pregnant for him if she was really intending to leave him the entire time. And I say that because she got pregnant again and she said she had an abortion. Because she got pregnant again for him. <sighs> we were. We, yeah, we were. I mean, not, not like the... Well, I guess you can't call it divorceable problems if you know the cheating and shit like that. Okay, but but, but she knew about that though. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She so knew Melody holds, but I didn't. I didn't know what she did. I didn't know she had cheated and was cheating. I didn't know that part. So y'all both were cheating. Yes, we both had cheated. Now I did see receipts. I do want to put that out there yeah. because there's like you did show me receipts of her <clears throat> having what it appears to be inappropriate conversations with y'all attorney. Oh, so so that was that was when we were together. That was when Melody and I were. But there was cheating before. Oh yeah, yeah, that was cheating before. He's lying. We all already know about the attorney. That was from 2017 when they, no, 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 that wasn't even 2017. That was when she was filing for divorce when they were on the show. When they were on the show and she was filing for divorce the first time, I think that was 2019. Um, either way, you had already been cheating for five years at that point when the attorney thing happened, if I'm correct. Because I know she was talking to somebody in 2017 when she moved out. That was the first time she caught him cheating in 2017. Then she took him back. So you cheat. She leaves you. She go talk to somebody. Y'all get back together. You cheat again. She leaves. She go talk to somebody. And somehow you're adding that up to she was cheating on you too. You're lying. Again, you're lying. For Yeah. Yeah. So both of y'all. Okay. So what did say? So, so I don't that. So that, that's what really gets me upset. Like, how you gonna come to this TV show? I know I, I know I was doing my thing and you're doing your thing, but you wanna crucify me on this show. Well, you know you was doing the same fucking thing. Well, see, that's I think that's where people get it in that it was on stage for television. Like y'all yeah. knew y'all had a bad marriage. You knew you were no, both cheating, but you so were I didn't not... know she was cheating. I didn't know she was cheating. I did not know. Who was she cheating with? <sighs> you might as well put it out. We know who you were no, cheating with. Who was she cheating with? No, I, I don't know the dude. I, I don't know the okay. dude. Yeah. I mean, she she confessed to me. Because I mean, you don't have any real evidence. She said she was with somebody when y'all broke up. I got it. I got the recording too. Um, when she confessed about, we remember that because you put that out. Something I did was something did. So how long has it been since you sucked somebody's dick? Three plus years ago. Three years ago. Three plus years ago. I mean, that's that's, that's pretty <laughs> three heavy. plus years ago, and I believe that was when she left him the first time and got her own apartment. Oh my! Like, and then she kissed him. Shut up, Tasha. <laughs> yeah, and, and you didn't care about that. You got back with her after that because you did not care because you know that what you did was 10 times worse and you were still fucking Arian and you never stopped fucking Arian. So complaining about her doing anything after you never stopped fucking with a girl, boy, bye. <laughs> no. Okay. Melody, that was G. If that, if that shit happened, that's what that was up. G. That's what up. I mean, listen, you was out here doing your things, so bitch, I'm going to oh, sure. suck him down. Damn. I'm going to swallow him and I'm going to come and put my mouth all over your face. I'm done. Melody. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but hey, listen, you was doing you. Damn. It kissing her. No. Come on now. Huh. Huh. Okay. Dang. So at oh, this point, so she knew about Arian. Eating ass. Well, yeah, I mean, she, 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 she had conversations with um, Arian. You know, she, she went over to her, to her place and talked to her. Um, yeah. That's what? That, that's when Melissa started talking about respectful cheating. Okay. You remember when she started talking yeah, about respectful cheating yeah. and stuff like that? Well, she got an impression this is what all successful men do? Cheat? Possibly. I, I, I don't know. Let me, let me not say that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So here's, here's where I, I want to kind of establish because, you know, you got this success. You, fair, 
fairly successful couple. Okay, that's fine. Fairly successful couple. Y'all, y'all have children at the time. You, you know, you have a business going. You know, you have side plans. Was you and Ariana? I mean, for her to go and have a conversation with Ariana, obviously, you and Ariana was pretty serious. Because Ariana did tell me she was like, you know, Melly came over my house. My mom was there. You know, we just talk for hours. I'm like, so, why would a wife be over there talking with us? You know, and no offense, Ariana was shy bitch. Like, why? Ariana was no side bitch. That was my, that was my other woman. That was my other woman. Let's get that corrected. No, it went no side. Nothing. That was my other woman, and that's just what it is. Period. So. The peasant, like the peasant. I'm only speaking in hypothetical terms. That's why I said I apologize to Ariel because I do know the context of your relationship. Yeah, now. that's my girl. Know, that's your girl now. Yeah. So you guys are living together. No, we're not living together. We're not living together. No. Okay. She's she a girl now. now. She yeah. She has, she has responsibilities. Look, she got panties in the drawer, in, 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 <laughs> in the bedroom. She has responsibilities. Okay. Yeah. You know, I have responsibilities she too. Has responsibilities. I take care of mine. She take care of hers. Now you know this. This this clip here is gonna send shockwaves through social media. So you're saying that at the time, Melody was your wife. You loved your wife. Ariane was your other woman, and you loved her too. Keep going. Um, so you can't say you loved her? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. We ain't, got, we ain't got no people come out and pour nothing like that. Not true. <laughs> no, we didn't bring them on this trip. <laughs> this was a last minute thing. <laughs> so, 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 so at that time, honestly. I guess. Yeah, why knows, okay? 13.5. Make sure you check it out. It's very, very I don't even want to take another sip okay, real. Because so, you're going to need a lot for this shit. <laughs> so that was your other... And, and, and you know what? This is what irritated me about Melody is because I've... For you to go and have conversations with another woman about your husband, and it's cordial conversations. She was trying to more set me up than me not cheat because she knew what she was doing. She wanted to catch me. Almost like she tried to do shit now. Almost like she went to the and and, and five report eleven months later. You know she tried to do shit to to set me up so she can. I got you. I don't understand. And me and Tasha talked about this. I I was like Tasha, you know women like to go and compare notes so that they can find out when this happened and and when this like you know that women be needing to know what happened in order to really wrap their mind around the fact that they about to break up their family. Like, that's why Tisha hasn't been able to leave Marceau's ass because she doesn't want the evidence. And so she doesn't go looking for it. But at the end of the day, what they said on a reunion show, she doesn't have enough evidence in order for her to really leave him. I don't know why that's so hard for everybody, you know what I'm saying, to get that she will go and compare notes in order to understand what was going on because he was lying to her. Women do that all the time. I wouldn't do it. But at the same time, like Barbara, this is Shirley. Women go and check the the mistress and find out what the mistress know all the time. Type mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? Just look at all of it. Everything. How she take me to court every other month? You know, anytime I sneeze hard, she you sneeze hard. I'm taking. You started it. You fucking started it. And now you want to get on this internet lying, acting like that lady keep bringing you to court, and you the one that tried to take custody of the kids away from her, even though you can't afford to take care of them. You know what I'm saying? All this abuse shit. She tried to get me. That, that's it. That's how she she knew what she was doing. And it, 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 I don't think she, she was like, stop cheating. It's yeah. like, I want to catch you. And let me get all the evidence I can. Ariane, be my fucking friend. She told Ariane, um, if he come over, if I, if I call you while he's there, here's the cue. She gave her a fucking cue or something like that. Some, like, what the fuck? Some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You that, mad that, that because you shit. was about to step out. I caught up. The fuck? <sighs> to be real, I didn't want to step out. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. But you did. Because you what was the nickname you had called Ariana no, on the show? Uh, I know. Uh -uh. I know, but Peasant. it was it was out there. Peasant. Something had okay. For her, I say it like Peasant. this. You you and Melly have been married for how long at this time when you met Ariana? Probably six years. Okay. And you're already courting another woman. And you're courting her. She's saying somebody on Queen Sheba's live said the kids weren't bad when they went back to him. They had an attitude because they didn't want to be back with him. Mm. That's what I figured. I figured that the kids were angry with him about everything that's taking place. They they old enough now to understand what's going on. And plus, who the fuck wants to be around their daddy's mistress that broke up their family? Come on, now. Hey, you paying bills, you taking care of her. Okay. There's two households. Now, to me, and I always say this, women, whether, I'm not going to say this is every man because it's not, but I feel like the more we, we allow men to be as honest as they can, like if you know, you know your man is one way. Then let him be. You understand what I'm saying? Like, just be comfortable. It's like that old saying, let your man cheat in peace. Yeah. Let that man cheat in peace. You're not going nowhere. Yeah. So what is we doing? <clears throat> and so I feel like if we took you out of Huntsville and put you, like, overseas, let's say African setting, Middle Eastern setting, mm -hmm. your situation will be perfectly okay. Okay. You fell in love with another woman. But you're still taking care... Of home. Of home. I, I, I never missed... I never did miss the beat. I mean, it ain't nothing. He wasn't taking care of home because Melody was doing all of the work, which is why when they broke up, he didn't have shit and he hasn't been able to really amass anything close to what he had when he was married to her, but she surpassed what they had when they were together. It's because he wasn't doing anything the entire time.
to, to brag about, but still, you know, I, I, my wife was well taken care of, my children were well taken care of, um, everything was, was good. So Ariel was I mean, she still, it, she Melly still got her flowers. She still went to get, get her nails done, hair done. Um, we still took trips. We still, we did everything. Went to the beach. We did every single thing. And you know, that's what Melly said. What made me so mad with Martell is the fact that I couldn't tell. He didn't change. He didn't give me no cues. Um, showing what he was doing. You know, he didn't. He still did everything that he normally did. You know. Um, yeah. That's, so you got married it. fairly young. Is it safe to say? And can we just put this out here right now? Is it safe to say that you are not? You prefer to be in polygamous relationships. There's nothing wrong with that. But is it safe to say? I um I am a a one woman man. I, I mean I, I am. Um, but you haven't been this entire time. See where the delusion comes in. You can't even be real with yourself. I, I want to belong to one woman. I want one woman to belong to me. But the thing is, what I, what I tell <clears throat> my friends to this day is like, make sure that you take care of your woman, and make sure your woman take care of you. Um, if your if your wife, if you know she's a, a cook and she's cooking, that shit shouldn't, shouldn't change up unless you guys get a fucking chef when your money get right. If you know if y'all having sex regularly, if if, if if she stopped giving you sex. And if you're asking for a fellatio and, you know, you're just not getting what you used to get, some changing, some ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but what I tell my friends, it's like, you, you take care of your, your, your mate. Because if you don't, somebody going to. Because, again, you know, on the show, on the show, it's like, I don't see how people don't see, like, damn, Martel. So Martel, Melody even, you know, she, she agreed that I complained for a year. I could, like, she stopped, she stopped cooking, like, for me, because that's when we moved her mom into the house, too, though. Okay. We moved up her mom from down south into the house. And not to, to babysit my, my kids because she, she, she wanted a new life anyway. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, she came up. Um, I had to come up. Um, Which one is it? <sighs> Damn. What was I here, Tasha? Shit. You move my man, I'm trying to off. establish. Are you a monogamous man or are you a polygamous man? When I married my husband, and especially when I married him in our, in his, you know, and married into his culture and his tradition, I had you to check. I had to check. Monogamous or polygamous? I checked monogamous, so did he. So okay. it's kind of like you, you established that in the beginning. You got married in your 20s. You had a family in your 20s. Yeah. I love family. That is and that's okay. Like, my father-in-law has three wives. Is it safe? And he loves them all equally. They all love each other. They take care of each other's kids. And these are not oppressed women. Right. A lot of people think multiple wives mean oppressed women. I'm like, what? These women got their own houses, yeah. businesses, kids. No, you yeah. know? But when it comes to successful men, yeah. and you are a successful man, yeah. you know, let's be honest. I mean, can you really truly, at the status that you are now, with all of the, you know, the attention that you're getting, be a one-woman man? I can. So... But will you? Of, of course. Of course. As long as the woman that I... Settle down with. She's going to play her part. She's going to do what she's supposed to do. Because again, I went a whole year complaining to Melody about what, she, what, what you need to do or what you need to start back doing. Like, again. You, so why not divorce? I'm, I'm about family. I have, we have children. I'm not going to leave the divorce. So did you tell her, hey, if you don't do this, I'm going to go get it somewhere else? No. So it was just shit just building up. So as things were building up, you know, like we get in, So I didn't have social media at the time. Okay. She stayed on the social media. And I didn't understand it. But now I look back like, bitch, I bet you was getting all the niggas your time. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, in the motherfucking DMs. That's why you told me to go out and go find a girlfriend. I still remember vividly. She no, because she was tired of you complaining on that show and in public about how she wasn't sucking your dick enough. So she told you to go and do whatever the fuck you needed to go and do. Okay? But at the end of the day, when she was on social media, it was about money. It was about posting and making sure her businesses were doing well. That's why she's so successful because she understood social media before a lot of people did in y'all area. But now you want to try to down her for what actually caused a lot of y'all success. You want to try to act like she was in the DMs with niggas instead of working. Meanwhile, you were supposed to be at the fucking gym and you was out somewhere getting your dick sucked by Gator Mouth. So we meet to the barbecue. To the barbecue, okay. my cousin, the barbecue, whatever. She's, we get into it a little bit. So normally we get into it a little bit. Her ass leave, leave the house for a couple of days and I, with, I'm you know, with kids because I told her I never leave. So the barbecue is, is, is that night and we get into it a little bit. Next time she had a bed on the computer. On, on, on social media. <clears throat> she said, and I forget, I forgot what I said. She said, go, go find your girlfriend. You know, she said that shit angrily. Go find your girlfriend. I'm like, the fuck? So I left. And that night. You found Ariana? You found Ariana? Yeah. That was that night. I was not going to look for nothing. I went over there suave and everything that a woman would want. Shit. It's funny, but it's not funny. Come on. <laughs> it's funny, but it's I'm not funny. I'm bullshit, but no. <laughs> I ain't playing. So you didn't intentionally go and find a girlfriend, even though she told you to go and find a girlfriend and then you went out swab everything that a woman would want. You don't realize the double talk, do you? You're telling on yourself. Sounds like you absolutely went out into the world to go get a girlfriend to get back at your wife because she wasn't willing to work, cook, take care of the kids, have four fucking kids, still be in good shape, run the businesses, run the household, do the kids hair, help them with their homework and constantly be available to suck your dick. What were you there to do exactly? No was Ariane the only woman that you had stepped out on Melody with? Were there more women? No. Sir. I don't think nobody else is. But I did see you in Atlanta one time. You don't remember? <laughs> okay. Hold on. Was it? 
You was in the Black Suburban. My husband and I was coming out of Capitol Grill. Oh, yeah, that was. <laughs> that, that, that was all down the line. That was after the divorce and everything. Oh, yeah, y'all was. Y'all worked together at the time. You're right. You're I, right. I was divorced. I was like, 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 my husband was like, don't worry. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. So even when y'all, y'all talked about the boys' trip, that was Arian. That was Arian. In the car. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, damn. Yep, yep, yep. So that. It's all good. It's a good question because I'm a, if I'm a wife, right? I'm a wife. It's my if I'm a wife. There are other women. And this woman has been around for so long. I, at this point, I would just have to embrace her, and I felt like that's what Melody did. But it was more profitable to, to sell you. Yeah, that's what she did. This is what she's doing right now too, though. That's exactly what she's doing right now. I mean, I would do it. Yeah, as a woman, you know, if I'm in Melody's shoes, I would sell your ass too. Like, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Uh, so it's kind of like, oh, I get higher checks to throw this nigga under the bus. That's fucked up, but you, hey, <laughs> yeah, and, and you get more fans, you get yeah. more everything because yeah. all the women goes through is going through or went through what yeah. she's going through, you know. So. But, but at my I, expense, and it's horrible. It's horrible. But I, I think that it should be a, a, some type of line drawn, though, how far you would go. You, especially you have four children, you know? Yeah. Because she don't know how long she's going to be where she's at. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know things looking good for her right now, but you just don't know. I don't know. And she, what she, does she, that she's more into one of the housewives, like big time. Yeah. yeah she, she's that. And with that comes, I mean, it's kind of like Portia and them went through. I don't give a fuck. Nene was the biggest thing ever. And huh, you saw how quick you can fall off? And then add four kids to Nene, four little kids. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, now. but you, have, do you know the difference between Nene and Melody? Melody has several businesses that are doing very well for her right now. Several businesses. I feel like we keep trying to downplay the business acumen that's going on here. Somebody doing fuck that you can follow real quick, real mm -hmm. quick. You want her yeah, to fall off. We all see it. You you want her to fall off, and if she does fall off, she still won't come back to you. I'm for, like I said, I'm for black families. And I just wish there was some type of way without television being involved that you two could just, I think it would be more entertaining at this point to, to have Ariana on the show and to have, you know, her partner on the show and just kind of let y'all go at it at this point. Like how Quad and, you know, Dr. Is it Lunsford did it? Like how he introduced his, his new wife. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's more entertaining that way. Like, oh my God, like a, I wouldn't say a mistress, but, you know, another woman, your husband's still on the show, there's a whole other wife. And, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, don't I, just, they, I don't know if they, I don't know if she or like, like Ariana come on and take the spotlight. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, Ariane can't take the spotlight in your life. How's she gonna take the spotlight on a show that she's not even really on yet? I don't think Ariane can take the spotlight because if that was the case, Ariane would have took the spotlight. She had social media. She could have had a YouTube. She could have got up there and talked and said whatever she wanted to t uh, to say after every episode. But that's not what she did. She decided to let you tell her what to do, and now she's just somewhere waiting on you to say okay for her to show her face on social media. Something. It would be, and I feel that that's, I think, what Melody would be, like, kind of scared of. Like, maybe Ariana would take the spotlight from her. 100%. Because if, so? if not, Melody would be like, let's do it, you know? But she's against it now. Yeah. Her, or could it be like, uh, you know, you already took my husband. You're not about to take my husband. the benefits. Yeah. Which I can honestly see from a wife's perspective. Yeah, yeah. You know? But stop talking about her. Own, don't allow us to talk. Don't, don't allow us to talk. Like, let's stop having. Nobody even, has been talking her, about Ariana. You know, if, if that's the case. Nobody's been talking don't, about um, Ariana. What do you love about Ariana? Some great wine. I'm listen, I'm telling you. <laughs> what you love about Cheers this wine? Love. Cheers to love. It's even body. Yeah. It's elegant. Yeah. Yeah, we're just having a, a nice adult conversation. Yeah. What do you love about Ariane? You know, first, you know, she's a she's a great mother. Okay. She's a great mother. Like your stepdad, too, because she has another child. I'm not a stepdad. So you're, you... I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not married. I, okay, but you're in. You have a child. So, y'all, do y'all sound hot? <laughs> to me, that makes him sound fucked up. Like, he don't give a fuck about the child that she has on her own. He only cares about the child that they have together and he only cares that she takes care of his kids when he asks her to. She's a fucking glorified babysitter. Okay? But do you hear this man? He's not a step parent to her child, but she helps with your kids though. That sounds fucked up to me. Well, Ariana, she already has a child. So, and so, so how do you So her daughter, you know, has has, has a father. Okay. You know. Um, oh, you're not a stepfather. I do resume responsibilities for for all of them though, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so you yeah. have this, you got uh, she, 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 has, she has a daughter. You have six kids that you provide for. <laughs> hey, because you can't provide for one that, and not provide for both. Like that's accurate. That's accurate. So let's say to say you take care of both of her children or your children. And children. Yeah, but but again, Ariane, you know she, she's she's a good mom, um, and, and that's what I like about her. You know, you know her daughter's been in um, private school since since day one, and she's a um, straight A student. Mm -hmm. Ariane, she is she be she be on her, her daughter's butt about homework, and Ariane be only at homework with her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And again, you know, I love kids, I love family, I love all that. <clears throat> and you know, see, well see Ariane just like that's her number one. You know, her daughter and making sure that she's doing good in school. Uh, make sure you know she's involved. Um, so, yeah. And Ariana, you know, we, we vibe good too, though. You know? Yeah. Like we can go How long has it been since y'all been together now? That's what I was thinking. It's been quite some time. It's been quite some time. What, 10 years? So, so, you know, it's like we know. 10 years? Know, doing everything for a long time. This has been some time. About you know, home it's been about 10 years. Damn, time be fine. Like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. It's been about 10 years. Yeah. yeah. This, is a, this is a relate. That's what I'm saying. Like, and it's I been about 10 years. So, if we're in 2024, 
So that means since 2014, like Mel said on a reunion show, 2014, 2015, a lot of people got upset with me when I, I kind of tapped for you, like, because I'm just like, Melody had to have known as a wife, like, you can't play the victim that long, like seven years of your marriage, you go on to have another baby with your husband while he's actively in another relationship with a woman. Well, you know, Aaron and I, we were off and on, though. Yeah. You know, and, no, Melody, she knew that we were off and on. And, you know, like, I, I tell Melody knew we were off and on. Okay. Like, hey, listen, like, I want my marriage to work. You know, Aaron would say that, too. Like, I just say, like, I want my marriage to work. You feel me? And I, I'm home. Like, I always went home anyway, though. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was always home. You never spent the night out. I was, I was what always, about the Atlanta trip tonight? I was, I was always, <laughs> I was what always, I was always home. Yeah, yeah. I was always home. Did y'all know, let's talk real quick. Damn, go ahead. No, because it's a moment of truth now. Like, you ain't married to nobody now. Like, you, you, you been put it out there. I don't know, Ariel might say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to slip up at all, okay? <laughs> okay, now, you. Like, I want my marriage to work. You know, Ariel would say that too. Like, I just say, like, I want my marriage to work. You feel me now? I'm home. Like, I always went home anyway, though. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I was always home. You never spent the night out. I was, I was always. What about the Atlanta trip tonight? I was, I was always. I was always home. I was always home. Let's stop. Let, real quick. Damn. Go ahead. No, because it's moment of truth now. Like, you ain't married to nobody now. Like, you you, you can put it out there. I don't know. Ariel might say, I don't know. I don't want to slip up at all, okay? <laughs> you don't want to okay. slip up at all. Now, you have been painted as a villain. You already slipped up. As yeah. a cheater, the narcissist. The, the... A narcissist yeah, too? Yeah, they call you a narcissist. They say you don't see your wrongdoings. Oh, shit. Yes, I do, but I'm not going to dwell in this shit. I'm not going to. What are some of your wrongdoings? Or were your wrongdoings? Cheating. Okay. Not communicating? No, Why? no. I was a great communicator. Okay. Sweetheart, listen. You, you need to start. You need to start. There's no reason that I should be out here buying food for the children. You and your mom is here at home. Can you, can you start cooking again? Like, come on. Or, 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 sweetheart, listen. You haven't given me sex in oh, over a week. Like, what's up? You know? Or, hey, I want some head tonight. I mean, not, not saying every single day, but for a whole, whole, whole year. I complained about certain things like that. That's great communication. She said, you know, on the show, she'll tell you too. You didn't grab my hand and come and set me down so I didn't know how serious it was. I said, damn. I'm sorry, you're right. I didn't, but I used to mention it all the time. She into BDSM or something? She wanted you to choke up? <laughs> she said, my problem was I didn't talk dirty to her. Oh. And, and, and fast forward to like now, I'm thinking like, damn, I never talked dirty to you. Where the fuck you get that from? I don't mind you saying it. I, I never uh, talked dirty to you. Where did you get that from? So Somebody you... enlightened me like, ah. so when she was cheating, I guess that nigga was, when she was cheating, I guess that dude was talking freaking nasty to her, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never talked like that, you know? But So everything that, everything so that. So she's saying that she wanted you to talk dirty to her and you never did it. So that must mean she was cheating with somebody who was talking dirty. <sighs> I complained about you already doing and you stopped doing. Well, what did she say that you weren't doing? I just told you. Only thing, only complaint that she had is I wasn't talking freaky. I, oh, I did everything else. I was, I signed my kids up for all the sports, for piano. <clears throat> I was over like, you know, education in terms of like what school mm -hmm. they, well, I'm over education now and athletics now only mm -hmm. because I used to do that when we were married. So there's no reason to switch it up now. So, you know, I was like the, the dominant parent, you know, like, so. I don't, touch, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't <laughs> Why know. is it so hard for you to just be vulnerable? Like, you talk like as a man, like, it's okay. Like, I gotta, I can't be out here sounding soft. Oh, I'm sounding hard right now? Yes. Damn. You know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm a man. That's cool. I, 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 and and I'm, I'm not acting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know you're talking about me being vulnerable. And, and I guess I'm not a, a vulnerable ass nigga. It's it, it just what it is. You know, in, in a lot of my communication, growing up, I've never been one of most, in real life, mm -hmm. I'm really not an emotional dude. I'm, I'm very, I'm like, Rah rah type dudes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I grew up, I was a fighter, you know what I'm saying? So you, you, football, you never I'm, I'm really ready, I, was, I was ready to knock somebody out playing football. Emotion I'm, like a, I'm an aggressive person, but not too aggressive. I never hit a woman. Let's get that right, you know. And I and I never really talked reckless either um, to women when it in real life because get on that show, like just say never not going back and forth mm -hmm. in real life. That that shit ain't happening because <clears throat> this shit just ain't happening. We're, we're gonna be Why? Because you gonna hit her? Why? It's worse anyway. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, but this is me though. Are you the only labeled cheater on the show? Only labeled. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, now, the one, about the I'm the only person who confessed, apparently. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think I'm um, the Scots. I don't think they cheat, though. Black men don't cheat, except for Martell. Now, y'all took trips together. Now, who, who was that? I, you and the Scots. Well, one Scott. <laughs> one? No, I never <laughs> took a trip with um, just one Scott. No, I'm saying both Scots. But um, I guess what I'm, uh, men don't take trips just to be with men. <clears throat> Carlos, like, what do you think, Carlos? I mean, unless they with men. So oh. the only way men would take group trips. Cause this was a big thing on the show. Y'all taking trips. Ariana had mentioned some of the trips that she was on. You don't remember? Okay. <laughs> and for some reason, the focus is always on you, on what you're doing. Right. But what are the other men doing? Why are you doing what you're doing? Are they just watching you do what you do? <laughs> or does everybody have somebody? Like, put it out there. I ain't put shit out there, Tasha. What the hell? Put it out there, Martell. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> I got you, Marcel. You did good, Tasha, girl. You did good. I don't care what nobody say, bitch. You did good. So oh, are y'all taking trips to? Are y'all taking trips to be with, be I, with I, each other? So what trip? You know about? Come on, I, I run it down. I'm talking about trips that was advertised Which on, on was the show, that? like what? the Atlanta, the famous Atlanta trip. Was it the Atlanta trip? Yeah. Oh, with <laughs> yes, oh, that with, trip. Yeah. Oh, you talking about when um Ariana talked about the linebackers? Uh huh. And oh. it was linebacker women, and yeah, so there were other women for the other husbands on the show. 
No. You Bro, you're just not snitching. It's bro code. Ain't got no bro code with them assholes. You just say, I don't know. So you didn't see him doing anything. That's accurate. See what I'm saying? Like, it's like Marcella. I'm just saying. This is what they be saying. eating your ass up on because you won't say. Like, just everybody's focuses on you. Everybody telling your business what you doing, putting your shit out. Yeah. <clears throat> it's fair game. You didn't do it alone. Let's just say you didn't do it alone all these years. I never saw either one of them have sexual intercourse with anyone. But you did see them with other women. I mean, why else would a man be with a woman? You know, I'm sure you're not in a room watching them. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got a good. Oh, you're Aaron Hall. You know, Aaron Hall. But niggas watch me fuck. They know I fuck. Y'all doing that? <laughs> no, we ain't doing that. Okay. That. But they had company. <clears throat> all right. You still gonna take me? I, I left y'all can keep beating me up, bashing me. It's all good. No, that shit need to stop him. Montel ain't cheated in three years. Since you've been married, y'all tell Melody stop running. Since you've been married, why does he think that that? Why do you think that means something that you haven't cheated since you got divorced? The fuck is wrong with you? You still cheated for most of the marriage. Okay, but no, so I don't. I don't know. Um, Marcel and Marie say. I don't know, people have been accusing him of cheating for a long, quite some time on this show, and no one has come forward, no evidence has come forward, no receipts have been placed on the table. The only reason you got a physical receipt, yours is in flesh with a baby. I mean, even before that, it was, it was out, you know? Yeah. And at that time, I had the baby again. I wasn't cheating at that time I had my child. No, that was when we weren't together. Melly, she was doing her You're thing. Lying. We together. You're no. lying. You're okay, lying. Let's You're talk about lying. the last baby that y'all had together. Who? Is it you and Melody? Oh. I heard some talk of you possibly getting a DNA. Is that true? No. No? Okay. Yeah, get a DNA mm. on my little, little baby. She looks just, just like a mom. Like you. <laughs> she looks just like a mom. Like Melody, like... Yeah, you can see you can see me and all the other three, but just the last one. If you look at Melody's like younger picture, she looks just like Melody, just like her. Okay. The forehead, the nose, the how she. I but guess she don't. Look Sugar Mama looks just like both of them, and I think it's insane that he would push her out like that. But like you is what you're saying. She looks just like a mom. She looks just like a mom. You know, I'm about to be 42, right? And I, I can read it between the lines. You said you're about to be 42? I'm about to be 42. I just turned 42. Oh, well, happy. What was your birthday? January the 4th. Oh, okay. So you're yeah. Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah y'all family. Y'all family. Uh -huh. So what they mean, though, you're about to be 42, girl? Let's see. I'm just saying, like, I can read it between the lines. Like, you know, I'm not going to say that. I, I'm not going to put it out there. I'm just saying what I, what I heard is that because of, you know, the breakdown in your marriage and you feel like she was doing her thing and you were doing your thing. Yeah. <clears> could it be a possibility? I ain't going to say it's a possibility, but, but, she, but I heard that she was doing things at that time. And, you know, it was asked of me to get. A DNA test, but you, you know, from somebody you. that was close to her in knowing her, knowing, knowing her doings. So she got friends that are close to her. Oh, no, to not, not anymore, because just like everybody, Melly okay. fell out with everybody. Destiny, was that you? Destiny, was that you? Because you're the only friend that was close with the both of y'all like that. Everybody, everybody, yeah. Um, so <clears throat> you feel that your 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 baby is your baby? Of course, your of course, my sweetheart. Okay, all my kids, my sweethearts, all I, of them. I'm telling you. I just had to ask. I ain't, I ain't oh, out here because I'm just saying. You've been taking care of them. Why stop now? If any of my kids weren't mine, they still mine. Hell, nobody would ever know, and I don't want to know. Okay. And see, that's the Martell that we want to see. They're you your know? kids. Like, we want to see what made Melody stay and accept. Yeah. I mean, you know, oh, so some things, some things you guys won't see because my real life isn't me being on the camera talking to you right now. I mean, I mean even though this is real, yes. but, it, but you see a real life in like real motion. You mm -hmm. know, when I leave here and I jump in my vehicle and then I go and I take my kids to school, pick my kids up and everything I do in between. You know what I'm saying? That, that's my real life. But you guys, it's, it's, it's just not following all of that. You feel what I'm saying? So this little moment right here, this is just an interview. And the interviews ain't real. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this one is not real. You have a real hard time distinguishing between what's real and what's fake, don't you? Wait, don't be talking about my news is fake. Fake as fuck. <laughs> it is not fake. Don't you do that. No, no it's not. <laughs> no. You, you understand what I'm saying, though. It's like you really can't see who a person really is through an interview because people can put on through interviews. Are you putting it, it on now? Of course not. No. So, hey, I, is I'm it real fuck. or is it's it's hard fake, on, nigga? On, on, with certain things, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But if somebody tells me to take some flowers into somebody, I can do that shit easy as hell. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, and I think that's why a lot of the, the viewers have a hard time really connecting with you because you don't show a lot of who you are. And they only see... So, so you know, I don't. No, let me not say too much. You know, you don't. No, say, but for entertainment purposes on the, on the show, you know, it's we have to show certain things. We can't show certain things. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because again, if they go back and no, yeah. let's talk about your your builder's license, okay? Because okay. you you got to. I, I never had a builder's license. You never license. had a builder's license, but no, you never. You know, had Melly one. had the license to you know yeah. to build. Y'all had a family business. Now. Yeah, we had a family business. Yeah. Melly was um she had the license and I was out there building and making relationships and hiring people and out there. And that's where the, the HGTV show came in at because you guys yeah, yeah. were tag teaming that. Okay? Yeah. Now what happened? When she pulled you, because she did pull you off the permits. Oh man! You got to talk about that. Now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they ain't calling nigga. you like you you're educated. You ain't got no job. You ain't shit. Uh, Melody was the one that you yeah. know took care of everything. You would be nothing without her. Oh no, no, Melody. Yeah. She, she definitely didn't take care of everything. You know, um, you know, just because you can get a license or something, don't mean you um have those actual skills of oh. being out there doing it or making those relationships. That's the most important thing too. Nigga. is creating relationships and maintaining those relationships. People that work for me, shit, ten years ago, mm -hmm. they still don't work for me. Mm -hmm. You know, because I am a good person. You know what I'm saying? And um, oh, okay. I've done right. So you still building? Yeah, so I'm building now. Um. So, is it because you're a good person, or is it because you always blackmailing people like you did Chris until he lost his client? 
I got a partner. He has his license. Um, but we have a company together. Okay. Um, and so I'm like, I got your family and stuff like that. Okay. Open and book so yeah, so I'm back building. And so, but, but the situation with Melody, the reason that she even took my uh, my name off the, the the business license, and I had an ongoing contract with with somebody at that time too. You know, um, she had got upset with me because I because you tried attorney to at the time, Dan Crane, mm -hmm. Dan Crane. Her and Melody had a relationship, and and I called him out on that. And you know, he was working. Um, I forget what he was working for us, but yeah. And, and I told him, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sue you. In the email, I got the email. I said, alienation of affection, basically sleeping with your wife. But you can sleep with yeah, your wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and really, one of the times that I really knew that, that she, she was gone and had, she had lied to me. She, was, she said she was about to go to dinner with one of our mutual friends. I'm like, oh, that don't sound right. But she left to go and be with him, you know? But I told her, I said, I'm, I'm going to, I told him, I said, I'm going to sue you for you being with my, my wife. You know, you're up here working a case for us and you're up here being with my wife and stuff like that. And I said, I'm going to sue you. So he How? How are you going to do y'all not hear how crazy it is for you to be cheating with Ariane this entire time? And, I mean, the moment that you're talking about, you're still fucking Ariane and you're saying that you were going to sue whoever male is messing with for alienation of affection. Weren't y'all just doing your thing? He went back and told Melody and then Melody came back and, and got, got in my face. Like, don't you try to like mess his life up? You know, I'm like, what the fuck? I said, you, regardless of what's going on, I said, you my wife, how you going to defend him, mm -hmm. you know? How you gonna and, defend Ariane? Ariane? <laughs> no, I, I never did that. Come okay. on. I never did that. Come on, you know? come on, Tasha. Um, and so I, I never... Ugh. Never mind. I'll just leave that alone. You could. <laughs> you funny, though. You could. <laughs> but yeah, she... I had to throw a little camera like, both of y'all had... And he had a woman, too, though. Damn. So, so y'all did the side chick, too. The fuck? Had a newborn baby, too. And, 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 I, and I talked to her. I talked to Dan Crane's woman. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. She looked like Melody. Oh no! Yeah, she looked like Melody. I said, "Damn!" How he cheating on his wife with his wife with a wife? Like, no, so I don't know if they were married. Yeah. I think they're engaged. Though. Okay, yeah, right. yeah. So you weren't engaged, not married. No, so you know, so you uh, I talked to her. She said, "Um, he told me they were just friends." And I said, "Yeah, no, it's not." She said, "I knew it was more." I said, "Yeah, it is." Mm. Yeah. Damn. So she didn't check first. So, so yeah. So Melody um took my name off the. She went down and took my name off the bit off the um home builder's license why and shit like that. Keep it on. And I was like, like, why are you doing this? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, why are you doing this? Take food out of how how I provide for. The family, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm doing these jobs. I you mean, know? you still on the show. And yeah, she felt some kind of way about this shit. And it took you off the. Yep, yep, yep. You yep. Fucked up all your money. Um, it, it was just that one project that okay. I was on at that time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but um, I guess fast forward. She she was at, at one of the properties that I, um that we were living in, and but you know we we're moving out, and my name was on the lease and stuff like that. And, and she just mentioned this, I think, um, a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. in terms of how I came came and she was filming the show, and um, talking about how I came and I pushed somebody and all they're trying to kick him out the house. And I'm like, well, I, I got I got everything recorded. I got like three different videos of me recording. I think I showed mm -hmm. it to you too. She was being abusive right there too. Like that girl, she's the abusive person, right? But I don't even want to harp on that. So, but I, she told me she was gonna put my name back on the license so I can finish this project. And then I get up to the house, she said, I'm not gonna do it. I'm like, what? I said, well, listen. I said, everybody need to get out of this house then. I said, he's trying so hard to make her look just as bad as he looks. And it's just not working. It's not working. She's the abusive one. Oh, is that correct, my nigga? Is that correct? Person that consistently keeps getting arrested on DV charges. Is that correct? You're not going to be making money. You're trying to mess my money up, you know? So I'm like, so everybody got to go. And then, you know, they acting like they ain't trying to go. I was like, fuck that. You got to get out of my house, you know? Mm. And, um, but I was, I, I was very respectful, uh, especially in the beginning, though. But it when don't they sound like it. They weren't going to leave. Um, I got him out the house, though. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> Melanie called Carlos and everything. I want yeah. Martel off the show. I want him off the show. He's up here messing up stuff. I'm like, but you see what you're doing. You ain't took my whole name off of the builder's license until I paid for it, too. You know, I paid, I paid for everything. And so because she took your name off the builder's license, which in my head, why should you be able to make money off of my license? We're not together anymore. You trying to take my kids from me. All this shit going on. You stealing money from me and everything. Why should I keep your name on my builder's license when you stealing money from me, nigga? Are you crazy? And Carlos, this goes to you lying, saying you didn't know what Mel was going through when Mel called you and told you he was destroying shit at her house on set. You took my whole name off the business license, a builder's license, and because of Dan Crane, you know? Yeah. And you up here upset with me, you know? So... She was getting her hair done and everything, and she pushed him to show. You know, she had called the police and everything. Police came. I say nothing happened. Y'all can leave. And guess what they did? They left. And um, so she got her. I think Carlos probably told her, Melody, just go down there and and um, put his name back on there. She did it. Everything was straight. You know, she was like, don't don't try to play me like that. You know, so I mean, everything worked itself out. Are you angry with how or irritated with how they kind of put Melody up here and they villainize you? And y'all both. She I mean, from what I saw, y'all both were doing y'all. Back off there. Oh, what? Doing y'all. Y'all was both doing y'all. Y'all both each had. So, you know. We I mean, she's a gorgeous woman. She's very beautiful. You're a very nice looking man. Like, Oh, hey, hey look. Tasha, don't say I'm a good looking man now. Tasha said, the only thing I see is Mark okay. big ass ears it, it, and the yes. shiny ass head. Okay, so what I meant was, <laughs> and I'm going to say this. I'm um, not, like, I don't, like, you're, I like dark skinned men. Yeah. You know, you too caramel for me. But a lot of women. about the same complexion as No, he is not. Don't play with Shaq like that. I'm just saying. Shaq ain't that damn dark skin. No, he's dark. You know what's up? Shaq is darker than Martel. The fuck? Shaq is smiling right now. He's also. 
calm, mild-mannered, respectful, smart. Like, it's a whole bunch of other shit. And that dark for me either. Yeah, this one's I used saying. to have them like, you can see a teeth. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Swear to God. It, like, <laughs> but but I love him. And and everything. Shit. But, that's my baby. but um, no, I'm just saying like a lot of women because like when it comes to just like, you know, they have Ken and Barbie. Like you and Melody represent in the black community what all of that is. Yeah, we, we, we were that. We you were, see what I'm saying? We were, so, yeah. Okay, we're that. But I mean, just, even though outside, I mean, you're, you're still the staple of what, you know, they would want a prestigious, you know, black man, a black man to, to look like. And Melody too, is very beautiful, very prestigious. And so, you know, and that's what I meant by like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel that, you know, they kind of, they show her a little bit too much favoritism as opposed to, I mean, it's kind of hard for both of y'all to be so, faithful when y'all both in the limelight or you're both attractive or the entire city knows what y'all do. So any woman, I'm sure Ariana, when she found out who you were, that's a lick. You know, Ariana didn't know. She didn't know who I was. She didn't know. No, no, because uh, again, we wasn't even on the show. Oh, you're just talking about like in our community. In your community. Um, Come on, Martel. Like people talk, people know. No, because I, I met Ariana, she was playing space in chicken over there having a good time. And uh, you know, I walked in there, you know, with my white button up on mm -hmm. and just having yeah, a good time. I think I have jeans, though. Yeah, they do be tight, though. <laughs> ain't no reason to have a little muscle. Ain't got them flexing it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, okay. I guess, so what is it? What would you like to see happen for the show? Hold on, no, no, no. You've okay. been speaking on Melody. You know, like, how do I feel that they yeah, show her? I, I didn't think you were going to answer the question, so that's why. I oh, no, no, it, it's cool. Okay. You know, um, I mean, when, when they start to make other cast members do certain things to continue to benefit her, you know, I don't think it's right, you know? Almost like how... No, they're how they only had... supposed to be doing things to benefit your ass, right? They've been fighting on your behalf and bullying Mel on the show for seasons now. And you mad because the shit not working out in everybody's favor? Because the show wasn't doing as well when there was no Mel? And Tisha coming to the, um, that event, Embrace Beauty event, mm -hmm. um, a few seasons ago, and Melody put it out immediately, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, she's she's a lot of about that. She can do what she wants, so call excited shots. about oh, I don't know to that extent. But Wait, you... Carlos are best friends. Like... I, don't, I don't know that either. Um, but you know, I guess I gotta have one person looking really good because again, when it comes to me and Melody, the show is like, what, in terms of audience, it's, it's predominantly women and probably about 90% women who watch the show, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And all those women, everybody's gonna go through something. So all those women probably gonna do something with a boyfriend or with a husband. And you're, you're that? I'm, I'm, they ripping me apart for what them dudes did. You <laughs> you're know what that I'm character saying? from, why did, they, why did I get married? Why did I get married? <laughs> they like, can we please, this is me, can we please forgive this guy for oh, what he right. did in that movie? No, never. They said to you, never. <laughs> but the thing is, so, yeah. you know, I feel, like I always say, if y'all, when y'all meet me or whoever meets me, mm -hmm. you, you will love me, you know, because it's not, which what you guys see or what Melly say that I am is is not that, you know. But what we went through in a relationship, it, everybody won't get that because it was Melly and, and myself. You know what I'm saying? We both be two totally different people and Melly, she's different from any other woman. So I'm gonna treat them accordingly, you know. They're gonna treat me accordingly, you know. Does that make sense? Yeah, so your relationship with Ariana is completely different of from course. how it was with you. Well, no, I, I'm I'm not different, but just certain things, how certain things is is, is different, you know. Does Ariana bring out things in you that Melody couldn't? Um or are you kind of even across the board? Yeah, I'm kind of even across the board, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm treating everybody you know, like um, you. Certain people bring different things to the table too, though. You know, like I mean, Builders some people like might say simple, but you know, Ariana she brought like a like a new way of eating to me and my, my children. You know, like we like been healthy for, for for a long time in terms of certain things we eat. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my son got like a little scanner on his phone to make to see certain things that parabens in it, um, or if it's good for our skin and good for our health. Right, that's that's Ariane that did that, not their mama that has a skincare line. Boy, get the fuck out of here. Stuff like that. So we all up on that. You know, that, that healthy eating type stuff, and that's that's essential for us okay. in terms of living and stuff. You know. You know, we work out together. We, you know, just like a lot of little, you know, good, positive stuff, you know? So is there marriage in the works for you and Ariana possibly? I mean, she's been there thick and thin. Um, you don't no, think she deserved that? I think every woman deserves that, mm -hmm. um, to be married and, and, but be, it's 10 and, years to, be, and to be happy. Every woman um, deserves to be oppressed by some man. You no. Know? Duh. I'm, go, I'm, I'm just saying, if the way Martel views marriage is to have a made mattress and a fucking mule. Shout out to Erica De Niro. To have somebody who he can make cook clean, have babies, and suck dick whenever he wants to. But he can't talk to her dirty because his ass don't know how to talk dirty because he's not confident enough. So instead of working on that and figuring it out for his wife, he's going to tell her, no, 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 I, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that because you don't know how to do it. Go say... You know, let me see how long. I would say it's been two years, three years. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, we, uh, just, just being real, I'm, I'm not going to count the bullshit. Okay, you're saying for y'all actually being in a relationship, just, just the two of them. You know, not, not even the relationship, not even the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's just now that, like, this crazy part, I mean, now that this is over with, now our friendship can start in real life. Our friendship, our courtship, it can it start now. You know what I'm saying? And let's see who the real you is and let's see who the real me, mm -hmm. who I am, you know, when it comes to, like, us being cool with one another. Okay. Yeah. But you love her. Yeah, of course. Okay, because you said that's, that's your woman. Let's get it right. I mean, that's my girl. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Finally, finally, he says, of course. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Bitch, Josh. Yeah, there ain't none of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, none of that. Okay. I won't, uh, yeah, moving forward, 
ain't nobody disrespecting because they disrespecting her, they disrespecting me. So we have a son together who I love so much. That little boy, something else. I can respect that. Yeah, one hundred percent. I can respect that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he respected I mean, the clock. So holder. what's next? I mean, I know that you guys are about to year for another season. We actively filming now. Oh shit! You know, filming LA. <laughs> what happened I, at the reunion? Did you get into a fight at the reunion backstage? A fight. Yeah. No. Any type of conf- confrontation or anything I was hearing? Yeah, I, I don't be in the fight. No. He no. Somebody put their hands on you. He lying. No. Somebody put no. He was about to say it. You know what I'm saying? You don't know somebody put their hands on me, but no. no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nothing we should know about. No exclusive. Let me think. No. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. So what's he's lying? He's lying. We all know that something happened reunion before last. That's the reason why Carlos was up there on stage crying. I guess. We're going to wrap this up, okay? We got enough content here, you know? They've seen the clips and stuff. Uh, 10 years. You know, kind of add more context, you know? Yeah. Melody is not perfect. I didn't expect her to be perfect. I know you're not perfect. I don't expect you to be perfect. Yeah. But there are four children between the two of you. That's right. You have, a, you know, they have a sibling that makes five. Right. And, um, you know, could we possibly see on the upcoming season or a season to come, peace between y'all and maybe another couple moving to the forefront? Or y'all just going to, y'all going to keep that, that that top spot and just keep no, fighting so, so no, and, I, moving forward, I won't be fighting with Melody because, like, right now, I, I'm not filming right now. Mm-hmm. Um, He's because not I'm, filming. I'm, like, I, we, we got to move forward. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you and, just um, off the wrong. And I'm, hope that's, I, I'm hoping that that's what everybody else want to do too. You know, because I'm tired of Melly creating situ- me fucking going to jail, um, us going to court, her trying you, to get the kids. You created like, those why do you want situations. Why taking kids away from an active good father? You know why? You, you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to create storylines. So it's, for me, I just won't own Carlos. Who you looking at? be on my side on this shit. You know what I'm saying? You always want somebody to be on your side no matter how fucked up you are. And whenever somebody does something on male side, you bitch a fit and act like somebody did something wrong by having a right is right, wrong is wrong mentality and not forgiving you when you're disrespectful and malicious to everybody around you when they don't go along with your temper tantrums. Do y'all hear him asking him to be on his side in this as if you aren't the one that is committing the acts of domestic violence against her? Because that's serious. This is real life. You know, outside of those cameras, when those cameras go, when them people go back to New York, when they go back to L.A., when they go back to Texas, our lives are still here with these kids. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always bringing up yeah, when they go cash to, checks to help we, we still make here, you look you know? better. Yeah. And, and and that's the that's the sad part about it because you know we on all these on all these reality shows it's like sometimes you know we everybody wants to see the drama but that shit real though you know that shit is it real, real. Or is I mean, it especially fake? somebody the important part is people be creating shit. Um, even though they're still real when they create it, it turns into a real situation. You know, like my fucking situation right now is real. Me yeah. going to jail for a fucking text message. Like everything that I showed you, my she could have went to jail for everything that you've got seen for hitting me. No, she no no not really. No no not really. Could have gone to jail. She could go to jail, you know? But do I want the mother of my children to go to jail? No. No. No, but you do want her to be destroyed. You want her to have nothing. You want her to fall so that she'll have to come back to you. That's what you want. How would, I, how would her mom feel? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like how my mom felt. My yeah. mom is hurt. My, my family, my uncles, everybody like, damn, my nephew. You, oh, so you think her family not hurt? All of the shit you've done? Let's not even talk about the way you talked about her brother, insinuating that he would do something to y'all's kids. You know, my son, like... I'm not the dude to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? And that's just so unfortunate. But again, I, I, I shouldn't have I shouldn't did it, apparently. But again. Yeah, he has a really hard time to, understanding it's not right you get what you give. A person like that to, to jail. Because I could, again, I could have sent her to jail and all this shit. And that could affect you too. I mean, ever if you wanted to return back to being a teacher or working with children. And you stuff, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that could be. Like, really why are you trying to keep trying to destroy me? I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to her. I didn't do it to her. Is there an active child support order between you, you and her? Y'all got child support issues? Anything? You, you want child support? No. That says a lot. Yeah, no, I'm not on child support. You know, nobody on child support. That says a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As, as a matter of fact, even if even if I got full custody, I still wouldn't get y'all support. I mean, we're gonna get two thousand dollars anyway. What the fuck is that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, two thousand dollars. I think that's where it's like Alabama. Mm-hmm. You know, um, yeah. So yeah, ain't no child support. Ain't never no child. And you couldn't afford to give her two thousand dollars a month. Support. So what what can we expect from Martel over the next like let's say five year goal? Five year goal. Yeah. So I'm turning up in real estate. You know. Yeah, he had a he had a record prior for stealing ATMs. So like, even like with the wine, mm-hmm. very um, good stuff. By the way, like I said, I do want the winos to get it. I oh no, no, the wine is really good. It's very it's really good. good. It's very good. I'm, you're actually leaving both of these with me. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. But I, I'll be real. Okay, that's not me. Because okay. I, I'm not a drinker. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not a smoker. I'm so not. A, I, I, I don't do teal. I don't. Mm-hmm. I, I, like I, I, I've never done any of that type stuff. Oh no. See, let me tell y'all. I think it's even deeper with Tank. I think that Tank is the one that watched everything take place, and because Tank feels for his mother, I think Martel takes out his anger on Tank. Also, because Tank is a mini me. Your son staring back at you, hating you the way you hated your daddy. So, you know, being on the show, you know, you know, I, I feel, you know, women love wine and stuff like that. And but for me, in terms of certain things that I love to do, you know, it's real estate. Okay. So, so can you see yourself? Of, oh, oh, finally so, having like a, a real estate TV show? I can see you doing it. You know, I mean, it's a lot less peaceful, you won't go to jail. Yeah. 
if God blesses me that way, mm -hmm. I'm cool with it. That's why he was trying to get full custody. That was another thing about getting full custody control and possibly getting more money from Mel. Since we know you like to take money from Mel. But that's nothing I'm going to strive for in terms of a TV show. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I like, I've always liked behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Um, I never been loved being the person like out front, you know? Yeah. Um, so when I was with Melody, that was a perfect kind of setup Melody and I had. You know, she loved to be out front. I loved being in the back, you know? Um, so, but yeah, so I'm just going to be hitting real estate really hard, you know? Okay. That, that's it. Trying to um, we'll be investing in many doors. So work, money, and invest. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be all over the place when it comes to um, trying to sell shit online and all that kind of stuff. I'm shots not going to do that. Yeah, shots fired. Shots fired. No, that's not shots fired, Tasha. That's not about Mel. That's because people have said that about him. He's had a book, a cookbook, a calendar, the wine the suits that were supposed to come out the real estate he's had a whole bunch of shit going on let's be clear mel sells t-shirts mel does property preservation which is what she was in when she got on the show and mel has her skincare line that does well for her and she models all of those things are doing well for her no, no, yeah. no, everybody's selling shit on, on, on. every time somebody say something, they sell shit online. You know what I'm saying? Out, we know Melody got a bunch of products and shit. She do? She do. Only thing I knew she had is, I know Marcel talked about the t-shirts and I, then I she saw She got the, like some, I think skincare or hair care. Oh, but. okay. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because she switched that shit from Embrace Beauty, what I invested in. She's just switched the name over to whatever yeah. it is now. But yeah, I mean, that's cool though. You know, people, you know, do your yeah, thing. Mm -hmm. like I, I don't waste oh, money anymore. You know I got what you. Saying? Yeah, you want to do yeah. what you know, what makes money. That's it. It's something I love doing, that I'm comfortable doing, that I have a lot of knowledge of and I'm not doing it for nobody else but me, you know? So right now, one woman in your life. Ain't nobody gonna hit my email talking about, I just saw my tail two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, God damn. I mean, you're not married, so I mean, it is what it is. Like, I don't know what people go do and say. People will make up any damn thing this, these okay. days. They will make up but anything. But for now, it's you and Ariane, and that, that's your woman. He don't even want to say <laughs> it. Martin. He don't even want to say it. He doesn't even want to say she's his woman. He doesn't even want to claim her as the main. That's crazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Love yep. marriage, Huntsville. I ain't gonna do this with you. I swear, if me and you was in a relationship, I'm telling I would lose the arguments every time because I can tell you just probably make the women feel very. Let me just shut the fuck up and just do what I gotta do. <laughs> oh, there we go. See, love like I love it. That's it. Why not? <laughs> Shit, if, if you're being taken care of, yeah, shut the fuck up. Don't even ask me no questions. <laughs> okay, so there is more to this interview, and I think in my next members only live, I'll pull that portion up. If there's more to the interview, but that's all I got for y'all. I told y'all all he was going to do is lie and gaslight. And honestly, Tasha does what she does well. Like she knows to keep it, you know, keep it easy so that they'll talk because he's the type of guy to lose his temper and crash out. So, yeah. Yeah, he spoke on Sheree. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in the next members only live. And there'll be there'll be another one this week, y'all. But either way, the man don't even want to claim Ariane, but swear up and down that that's his girl. He love her. Yeah, she's your babysitter. And so you find somebody that can make money for you like Mel did, and then you'll fully replace her, right? And she'll be a side chick all over again. Um, I did not know that they dox Mel. That's not, I don't know if that was, because people were saying that, but I didn't really see that. And I don't think that Tasha would do that intentionally because that's, you know, that can get her really fucked up. And I don't think she really wants to do that. So if that was done, I don't think that was on purpose. Um, but I'm not sure. Okay. But I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Uh, but yeah, y'all, it is what it is. Um, that's what I got for y'all for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I'll come back for more later. Okay. Um, we're also gonna be doing Married to Medicine tomorrow, Real Housewives of Potomac. Uh, and other things. She's probably ch taken it down, right? Since then, it was on her website. It probably was an accident, y'all. I don't think she would intentionally dox mail. Um, that's just not good for her business at this point. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, child, I don't know. All right. Either way, I'll come back with the rest in the next members only live. Okay. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Okay. Y'all have a good rest of y'all day. And I'm going to do the same, girl. Thank y'all. Hold up. See you later, Bonnie. Thanks for the recap. Yeah, it was on her site. It is now taken down. Okay. Yeah, it probably was a mistake. Um. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Bye.